Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen and good morning. Amen. We thank God for being here. We thank God for each of you in your respective places. It's such a privilege uh, to serve with these great apostles and pastors and all of these ministry leaders that are here with us on today. And those that are, are watching with us online, we're glad to have you as well. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. And we should rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I, I really, I, full disclosure, I really want to give God a, a running praise on this morning. Yes, sir. Amen. I, I got some stuff to talk about, but I just need you to know what's happening on the inside of me. I really want to give God a praise in the run. Amen. Uh, uh, I, I want to praise him in the run. Amen. Amen. I want to praise him in the dance and then praise him in the run and praise him with the high shouting voice and amen and the high sounding symbols. <laughs> amen. Because God is still good. Amen. 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 I promise you he's good. Final answer. Amen. amen. He has been so good to me yes, that I can't tell it all. He's worthy of my praise. Amen. He's worthy of more praise than I can give. Amen. Amen. He's worthy of all the glory. Amen. Amen. He deserves all the honor. Yes, and when I think of the goodness yes. of Jesus yes. and all that he yes. has done yes. for me, my soul cries yes. out. Hallelujah! Yes. And I thank yes. God for saving me. I thank God for keeping me. I thank God for sanctifying me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If it had not been for him being amen. on my side, amen, I don't have to wonder where I would be. All right. Amen. I can imagine where amen. I would be, but, but he has been faithful Jesus. unto me. I, I want to say that one more time, oh, just by way of testimony, that he has been faithful yes. unto yes. me. Father. There has been no failure yes. in him. Amen. Yes. one debt that he has outstanding in my life, but he's done exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond all I could imagine or even think of. Amen. He keeps on doing great things for me. All right. I just have to testify. Amen. Amen. On this morning that he's been good. Yeah. Amen. You know, there's a, I got a message, but I'm just on this message right now. Amen. <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a thing that happens in life. Yeah. There's a thing that happens in life, and it's, I'm going to call, I'm going to name it today, the spirit of frustration. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen. The spirit of frustration. And what the spirit of frustration does is he comes he comes to hinder you from celebration. That's yeah. right. Amen. That's right. Amen. He, he Amen. comes to hinder you from, from celebrating. He comes to hinder you from enjoying your moment. Amen. Somebody say, this is my moment. This, this is, is my moment. Y'all keep playing like this. I ain't going to get into this. This is, is my moment. I, this is my moment. Amen. You, you got to make a declaration over your time. Hallelujah. All right. Yep, y'all did it. Yeah. All right. You got right. you got to make a declaration over your time. This is my time. All right. This is my season. This is yeah. my season. This is my moment. This is my moment. You know what I'm saying? Because that that spirit, that spirit of frustration yeah. comes to pee pee on your parade. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I did say you did. <laughs> That spirit, that spirit of frustration wants to pee pee on your parade and cause you to not enjoy the celebration. Yeah, that's the truth, sir. It, 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 he, it, he just wants to figure out how to mess up your party. Yeah. And, and, and he can't stop the party. That's right. Amen. Because he doesn't have authority All right. over the party. All right. Because you have a choice. You have the right and the responsibility uh, and the authority to declare your own praise. Yes, you can say, I will bless the Lord at all. Oh, I, I wish I had church amen. here this oh, morning. Amen. I'm going to talk to y'all. You, you can say, I will bless the Lord at all times. See, see if, you have, if you have the right and the responsibility to 
to declare your will in the earth. That's a godlike characteristic, but that's not what we're talking about today, but that's good. Amen. Your will is a godlike characteristic. It, it says that I can declare a thing and it's so. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I can impose my will on earth. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Y'all just want me to read the thing. <laughs> I, I, can, I can declare. So, so frustration comes to make you not declare. Oh, yeah. All right. Amen. Psalm said, I will bless the Lord. Uh -huh. When? At all, At all times. Time. At all times. Time. Uh -huh. yeah. So when you have time that you're not blessing the Lord, then you're breaking your will. Yes, sir. Right. Mm -hmm. You're breaking your own promise. You're breaking your own declaration. Mm -hmm. you, you testified, I will bless the Lord uh, in, in good days. I will bless the Lord when I got a lot of money. All time. All time. I, I will bless the Lord when I feel like it. All time. I will bless the Lord when the weather is nice. Uh, right. I, I will bless the Lord when when everybody's getting along. That too. I will bless the Lord when I'm not sad. Uh, that too. I will bless the Lord if I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. That too. I will bless the Lord if the choir sing good. Oh, see, see, we we have very conditional determinations on our will when our will is supposed to be absolute. All right, all right. Jesus. Our will is supposed to be absolute, and anything that challenges our will is the spirit of frustration. Imagine, imagine in the book of Genesis, but in, in time in that place, imagine if, if God said, let there be light. And then it was like, eh, maybe not now. Maybe not today. I don't, I don't really feel like mm, light. It's not a good day for light. When, when God said, let there be light, he was introducing his will. Amen. Come on, man. I, I, I'm having a good time. Y'all fine. Stay like y'all. <laughs> Amen. I, I, when, when he said, let there be light, he introduced his will. Yes. Yes. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was our form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep. Yeah. And then he said, let there <laughs> Facebook that, IG that. Your will is a godlike characteristic. So, so when you have a will, when God gave you a will, He was giving you His own identity. So He was introducing His will when He said, "Let there be light in darkness." What He didn't say, what He didn't say was. I'm so tired of it being dark. What he didn't say is, it's, it's so gloomy today, and, 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 and things are not good. Hey, brother. Amen. Amen. It's, 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 he, didn't, he didn't say those things. What he said was, let there be. Amen. He spoke, uh, this is the way you sanctify people say it, he spoke those things that be not. Yes. <laughs> As though they were. Yes, sir. He didn't even spend his energy on what wasn't. He didn't spend his energy talking about how dark it was. That's right. That's right. He just imposed his will. Yes. Let there be light. Yes. And then what? And then there was light. Uh -huh. There was light. And then the light separated the darkness. Yes. And he called the light day. Yes. And the darkness he called night. Yeah. He, he, made, he made a choice that darkness could not prevail in the day. Mm -hmm. 
This is so much better than, than how y'all acting right now. I mean, he made a decision. He, he made a decision that darkness could not prevail, and he spoke light yes, sir. into the darkness and separated the darkness from the day. Now, now, if you've got God-like characteristics, also known as a will, then that means that when darkness tries to consume your day, yes. you have a God-like responsibility to speak day. light, yes. speak day into your darkness. Yes, sir. Not allow darkness to speak night That's so good. That's good. into your day. Yes, sir. But it's a spirit of frustration yeah. that comes to discourage you and change your speech patterns. Yes. And so in the time when you should be praising, he brings clouds. All right. All right. And and he smothers the sun out of your day. Yes, sir. So what you do is you call the day gloomy. Oh my God. Instead of calling the day blessed, uh -huh. you don't call the day glorious. All right. You call the day gloomy. My God. That's step one to changing your day mm -hmm. into night. Wow. He 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 made the day so dark that that you thought it was night even though it was day. I, I, I did something I ain't done in a long time. I I, I, I I did something by faith on yesterday because I, yesterday was my scheduled time. Mm -hmm. My scheduled time for me to get out and, and bring sexy back. <laughs> Amen. And I was supposed to be out on the trail. It's a long way it's got to go to come back, but it's coming. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And I was supposed to be out on the trail doing my exercises. You know, getting my walk in and stuff like that. And I woke up early, excited, like, yes, we gonna go get it. And then I looked outside and it was raining. Mm -hmm. And I looked outside and raining and I got discouraged because a spirit of frustration uh -huh. came. Mm -hmm. And when the spirit of frustration came, I was like, man, I ain't gonna get to go. I just messed up my day. I bet everybody else ain't coming. All of that stuff like that. And then I started calling people and they was just waking up and, and doing stuff. And I said, man, <laughs> and it's raining. And I was standing in the doorway like a little kid. <laughs> you know how the kids stand in the doorway, they want to go outside. But it's raining and they just looking like, is it still raining? And you know, y'all know what I'm, we was that kid. Amen. Back when we used to play outside. Right. Amen. And uh, <laughs> And, and uh, we wanted to go outside, and I was just looking like, man, this girl. Then I closed the door, and I closed the door, and like, like that was closing the door on my opportunity. Mm. And then I, I felt something rise up in me that said, "Go." Mm. And I was like, "But it's raining," <laughs> and, and and all that stuff. And and the more I said that, it said, "Go." Mm. You just need to go. And I was walking around like, I don't know if I'm going to be out there and all that. And they said, you need to go. Then I started hearing myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes you can hear yourself yeah. sound pitiful right. and, yeah. you, and you make yourself sick. Right. You know, like, I don't want to know. And I'm like, oh, stop. <laughs> stop sounding like that. Right. Well, I don't know what to do. You just need to go. Yeah. And so what I did, I dug in the drawer and I got my little dry fit shirt that didn't matter if it was wet or, or dry. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter. I put that on and I said, you know what? I'm going. Yeah. I grabbed Mello. We jumped in the ride. I said, you know what? I'm going. And I got in, I went outside and it was raining. I, I opened the door. Mello ran out and he turned around and said, <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? <laughs> It's, it's raining out here. He looked at me like, do you understand what's happening? I said, don't worry about the rain. We going. And we ran. We went on out and got in the car. And when we got in the car, went around from the house and got around to 270. And when I got like a mile or two down 270, there was no more rain. Right. From the moment I got down there, there was no more. I mean, it, it didn't rain no more until I finished. 
walking. Mm. Yeah, that's right. When I finished walking, took pictures, hung out, looked at the lake, amen, went and got breakfast, came home, and after I got home and got out the car, it sprinkled a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was just God putting his fingerprint on it. Like, yeah, like I just yeah. want you to know I yeah. could let it rain. Yeah. <laughs> amen, but I, I stopped the rain yeah. for your purpose. Yeah. Amen. Yes, and that's the blessing of the Lord. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, if you are 
able to say, I will. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah. if, if you can say that, yeah. if, you, if you can form your lips. See, here's the thing. I, there are some people, Jay, there are some people that are in a position to where they can't even make their mouth say that. Say that, say that. Yeah, that is true. That is the truth. That's the reality. It doesn't matter what's going on in their mind. They can't make their mouth That's say right. it. That is the truth, sir. Ooh, you don't know what it's like to want to do something yeah. and can't do it. Yeah. You don't know what it's like to want to run and can't run. Uh -huh. Want to speak and can't speak. Want to breathe and can't breathe. Yeah. Amen. But here you are taking breath. My God. Jesus. And, and don't want to bless. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, you, got, you got breath. You're wasting breath. Yeah. yeah. Amen. And then you won't bless the Lord. My God. Jesus. See, that's why he said, let everything that have breath. Yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. You're in a position. If you got breath. You're in a position of praise, yes. but what are you doing? God, my God. If you can put words together. Yes, sir. We used to say uh, back in the old church, you, you young people don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Amen. But back in the old church, say, I thank the Lord for being cold. And in my right yeah, mind. That's right. Yeah, that's right. If you are in your right mind and you ain't speaking in tongues by accident. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Or do you declare night over your own day? Jesus, my God. The day is the day is here and the sun is ready to shine. Yes. <laughs> and you speak night. Yeah. And you speak darkness. And you refuse to to praise him because of what it looks like. Yeah. Because of what it feels like. Mm -hmm. but because of what it seems like. Because of what they said. Mm -hmm. they said. That spirit of frustration. Come on, say I rebuke that spirit of frustration. I rebuke that spirit of frustration. Y'all wasn't ready. Come on, say it one more time. I, res I rebuke that spirit of frustration. I rebuke, I rebuke that, that spirit of frustration. Hey, I'm not, you're going to get another chance to say it until you get it in your spirit. All where right. You, where you really take it because it's going to go home with you. Right. Amen. That, that spirit of frustration when the toaster just breaks. You know what I'm trying to say? For no reason. Just stuff just, just happens for no reason because the, the window is leaking. You know what I'm saying? Just for just anything. To hinder you from your praise place. Yeah. Say that. Because you should be happy. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. The psalm said, I will. I will bless the Lord. Yes. At all times. And his praise. And his praise. Shall continually. Continually. continually be in my go back to the C word. Continually. Continually. His praise will continually. Yes, sir. And, and so what, what the enemy is coming to do is fight against your continue. Okay. Yes. 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 Good. Yes. He, he trying to make your continue a lie. He's changing. This, this is where your scripture read. Your scripture read, his praise shall conditionally no, no, be no, in my mouth. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. That's how we act. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's, a, that, that's not what the scriptures say, but that's what you say. Uh -huh. right. His praise shall conditionally yeah. that's true. be in my mouth. Get a new car. Mm -hmm. And his praise will be in your mouth. Uh, right. Get a new house mm -hmm. and his praise shall be in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Let somebody steal your car. Uh -huh. Right. I told y'all I was preaching to yeah. Let your house burn down. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Spirit of frustration. Uh -huh. Point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See how? So that's what he does. That's what he does. What he does. Uh, 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 Ephesians uh, six and the whole arm. You ain't got to get it. But the, the whole oh, armor of God, right? Yeah. Put on the whole armor of God mm -hmm. so that you might be able to withstand against the wiles of the enemy. Yeah. And, and then I like this part. Fast forward down to the shield of faith. And the shield of faith, and you you put on the shield of faith. Why? So you can withstand 
All the fiery darts of energy. Y'all better get your Bible. I told you. <laughs> Put on the fiery, get on the shield of faith so you can withstand all the fiery darts of the enemy. Darts are also known as arrows. Uh -huh. Amen. So, so you can withstand the arrows of the enemy if you got the shield of faith. Yes. Now, now, why do I need the shield of faith to withstand all the darts? All the darts. Because the enemy shoots all kinds of darts. Amen. He's, he's always throwing darts. Amen. And, and here's, here's what the darts do. When he's throwing darts, he'll find the place of vulnerability yes. in, in your life. Yeah. Amen. There's one day that it don't matter what happens, you're going to be happy. Uh -huh. Amen. But your little toe is exposed. Uh -huh. And somebody steps on your little toe oh my God. that ain't even been pedicured. <laughs> and your whole day goes downhill because they stepped on your little toe. Yeah. But, but that was what was exposed. Sometimes emotionally, yeah. it's, it's just one little thing that can then ruin. I was having a good day mm -hmm. until she said that. Right. Until he did this. Yeah. Until that happened. And once that happened, then now, now my whole day is ruined. And, 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 and Rochelle, here's the thing. When you said, now my whole day is ruined, mm -hmm. you imposed your will. Oh, yeah. Amen. You spoke it. Yeah. Amen. You imposed your will on your day and you declared it night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus, you are preaching. You had an opportunity to praise him yeah. with the stuff, with the so talk. Amen. Yes, sir. But instead, you declare night. Yeah. Why? Why let this one thing mess up everything? Wow. Yes. I was talking to one of our daughters. She's probably on now. She's going through some health concerns. And the Lord spoke through me because I'm not this smart. Amen. But the Lord spoke through me. And I'm going to call it a sore toe. Because okay. that's because I'm on the sore toe. Amen. And you know how you can have a sore toe. And then and all you talk about, ooh, this toe. Mm -hmm. This toe is just bothering me. Amen. And that, this toe is just on my oh, I just I, this toe. I just can't do nothing because this toe. De declaration. Amen. I'm mm -hmm. just I, I, I'm just tired because this toe. Declaration. Amen. And, and I, this toe keep on hurting me. Declaration. Amen. And you keep making all these declarations. Over your sore toe. And I, and I said, you know what's amazing about this? Is that as sore as our toe is, amen, we have not said anything about our hearing. Mm. Mm. Jesus. What a blessing it is that we're able to hear. Amen. 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 What a blessing it is that I can still see. Mm. What a blessing that even with a sore toe, I can walk. Amen. But I have not taken one moment today to thank God for my hearing. Amen. How about you? Amen. How, Amen. how many of you woke up this morning and said, Oh God, I bless your name. I can hear. Mm -mm. But the toe, you have been testifying about the toe for the last three days. When people call you, how you doing? Well, you know my toe. <laughs> this toe is still bothering me. Declaration. Mm -hmm. We got all kinds of words for the toe. But no words for the God of hearing. Amen. No words for the God of sight. No words for the God of peace. No, God, no words for the God of being in my right mind. No words for the God that kept me safe all night. All right. No words for the God that's feeding me on today. On, no word for the God that gave me shelter and a car and shoes to put on and clothes to put on. No right. word right. for the God that right. kept my children. No word for the God that saved my husband. No word. Yeah. No word for the God that rebuked the hand of the enemy from off my life. No word for the God that cured all my sins. 
sickness and all of our diseases. No words. All I got to talk about is one sore toe. Oh, my God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How crafty is the enemy that he can take one pinky toe and change our whole testimony. Spirit of frustration. Yeah. Coming to steal your praise. We was looking for the pitchfork and the tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The red suit and the fire. Mm -hmm. And all he had to do was mess up. And, 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 and let me testify. Jeremiah, help me on this. Let me, let me testify. Don't let the sister have just got her toes did. <laughs> <laughs> She just got her toes did, and then you stepped on her toe. Now you hurt her toe and messed up her polish. Come on. Thank God for the car that didn't hit me right right after you walked past me. That I only stopped because you stepped on my toe. My God. But I'm frustrated. Over my pinky toe. Uh -uh. <laughs> what you what you saying, Ken? I'm saying that there are so many little subtle things yes. Amen. that snatch our focus, Amen. that snatch our attention away from God, and and have us pay attention to it, and we give all the glory to it. What's wrong with you today? Mm -hmm. What's your testimony? Amen. What's your problem? I bet you if I hadn't talked so bad about you, you'd have plenty to say. <laughs> well, whoo, Lord, I, these people on my job get on my nerve. But you got a job. Right. Mm -hmm. 50,000 people in America file for unemployment, yes. and you got a raise. Right. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know why y'all act like this. I mean, you know, they cut off benefits, and, and you getting debt canceled. Jesus. You get yeah. checks in the mail while other people is getting bills. Yeah. Amen. And you want to complain because you got a job. Oh. Amen. That you got people that you don't like. Oh, you my God. <laughs> you are preaching. The spirit of frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Just coming to steal joy. Yeah. Steal the sunshine out of your day. Uh -huh. So you will call it night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, even when talking, I know you don't know nothing about this, so I explain it to you, so you can understand. When when midnight comes, regardless to how dark it is, it's still day. It's still day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so, so, yeah. She don't want to talk to me. She <laughs> so, even if it's really dark mm -hmm. and cloudy mm -hmm. and stormy mm -hmm. at midnight, mm -hmm. it's day. My God. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. And, and, and so they don't say uh, on, on the clock, it don't say night extended. Right. <laughs> right. It should be day but the night ain't through yet. Right. It's still day, mm -hmm. even though it's dark. That's yeah. right. That's right. You make the mistake of allowing the day go to go by because it's still dark. Mm -hmm. That's good. When what you should do is rise up my God. and declare day oh, my God. in the darkness. Yeah, my God. See, some of you people, I'm just talking to a few people right now. Everybody else will understand this, but just put it on pause and hold on until I come back to the rest of you. <laughs> there are some of you that God wakes up early. Jesus, my yeah. God. <laughs> and, and when he wakes you up early, three, four, yes. Sunday yeah. in the morning, uh -huh. you can't understand why you're waking yeah. up. Yes. <laughs> because it's still dark. Yes. Yes. <laughs> My and God. you thought because it's dark, it's time for you to sleep. Yes, that's oh. it. But it's really daytime. My God. It, it, it's really morning. And, 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 and you are, are, are being seduced by the spirit of darkness oh my God. to stay asleep oh. in a time when you should be awake. You preach yourself. Amen. And declaring yes. the goodness of God that he has given us day. Yes. Even before the sun shines. Oh See, some people will declare it's day when the sun shines. 
sunshine, yeah. but you know it's day even in the dark. And so there are some prophetic people that God has called to bring sunshine into the day. And so before the sun shines, they begin to speak glory over the day. They begin to pronounce blessings over your day. They have already spoken the, the blessing of the Lord over the thing that you don't even know is coming today because you waiting on the sunshine and God has already brought morning into your day. Chasing the day. My God. I, oh, I, oh, uh, let me talk to y'all. I ain't talking to them, I'm talking to y'all. Have, have you ever said to yourself, watch this, have you ever said, there's just not enough time mm -hmm. in the day? Yeah. Guess why it's not enough time in the day? Because you, you didn't get up. Yeah. <laughs> it's been day. Yes, sir. You slept. Three, four hours of your day away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He woke you up at four o'clock. Yes, yes. And you decided. Yes. Your will said, I will get up at nine. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you lost five hours a day. What could you have done if you got them five hours back? Ah, yes. But the enemy, like a thief in the night, <laughs> came and stole your day. Yes, yes. yes. With sleep. Yeah. You didn't have to sin, just sleep. My yeah. God. My God. Just sleep it away. Yeah. Instead of saying, I will. This is the day. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice. My God. Yeah. 
See how we get stuck? That spirit of frustration, that's why I don't like that joker. Right. <laughs> that's why I don't like get you off track and throw off your whole month. Yeah. Because mm. you slept one day. You overslept, caught you in a trap, you went too far, you stayed too long, and then how did it throw the rest of your life off? Right. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're in sin. Mm -hmm. I can't say that in church, can I? I'm sorry. Because mm -hmm. y'all all holy. Y'all all got it together. Mm -hmm. But the next thing you know, you're cussing. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you're slipping. Next thing you know, all of that's going on. All because of one day that you went too far and stayed too long. Oh, then now it's taking you all of this time to get back on course. Yep. Is it anybody in here that know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Take you all that got you way off the road. Right. Now you got to do all of this first works over again to get back on course. To do what you only had to do is get up and say, I will. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that we got an enemy, a worthy adversary that's coming against your blessed place. Yeah. Amen. He's coming against your blessed place, and he's come to get you way off course. Yeah. Let, let me, I, I know I got to hurry up and close. I'm sorry. Amen. But, but let me say this to you. If the enemy had his way. Yeah. Brother Jay, if the enemy had his way, he wouldn't hinder us. He would kill us. Kill us. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he would. If, if, if he could really do what he wanted to do, right. he wouldn't throw you off course. Yeah. Kill you right he would kill you graveyard dead. Yeah. I just need to be able to be, uh, uh, y'all allow me to be open, because this, this is what we do here. Amen. Your last sin, mm -hmm. your last snare, your last uh, backslide, whatever it was, was not designed to hinder you. It was designed to eliminate you. He never intended for you to come back. Amen. Amen. Repentance is an unfair advantage. Mm -hmm. The grace of God gives us an unfair advantage that in our sin, he still gives us access. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I know everybody else didn't sin, so y'all just be patient. Amen. But in that last thing that you were stuck in that had declared night, and it's been night for a few weeks in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. The grace of God gives you an unfair advantage that he gives you access. That even in hell, My God. he's there with you. My God. And, and waiting for your will to change. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Because he gave you will. Yes. But he also gave you grace. Yes. So that when your will don't work right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> his grace is there it's to there. uphold you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you, when you, what we call out the will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My God. And so he called Jonah and he said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and I want you to preach to the Ninevites and I want you to tell them to repent. And Jonah said, no. <laughs> Ain't going to be no pre preach to the, to the Ninevites. Ain't going to be none of that. Ain't none of that. And God said, I am the Lord thy God. <laughs> Amen. Go ye unto the he was speaking King James. Amen. Go ye unto the Ninevites and preach thou unto them. <laughs> that they may be my people. And then Jonah was speaking Ebonics and he said, Heck no. <laughs> so much so, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 
trying to help somebody. I hope y'all don't mind me taking my time because yeah, I'm trying to help somebody. Because, because, because some of you are called in today ministry. All right, right. And, and you are so stuck in a night mentality Jesus. Man, that's good. That, that you refuse to do the day ministry oh, that God. God has called on your life. But what you don't realize is that your refusing to do the day ministry that God has given you is pushing you further into a night mentality. Oh, yes. And yes. so Jonah, who was called of God to deliver a nation is now in rebellion, Jesus. and he says, forget that, I'm getting on this boat, yes. and I'm going to Tarsus. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to go yeah, to Nineveh, yeah. Yeah. but what I'm going to do is go to Tarsus, mm -hmm. you rebellious so-and-so. <laughs> and he got on the boat, and, and he was going to Tarsus. Now look, now look, God, wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to hold it together. God is already uh -huh. in them. Yes, yeah. He is. Yes, oh, he yeah. Is. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, mm -hmm. he is. Whoo, she said, I don't know about mm -hmm. Helen. God, God is already in Nineveh. Mm -hmm. He don't need CC to take him. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. To Nineveh. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he put the fate of Nineveh in CC's will. My God. Amen. That's good. That's good. My God. That's good. That's good. He he could have just got in a bush. Yeah, he could have. And set the bush on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like he did Moses. Yeah. And and spoke to Nineveh. Uh -huh. And said, I am the Lord thy God, repent. Right. Jokers. Right. right. Amen. But he didn't do that. He got in Jonah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey. And he told Jonah to go preach. Don't need a bush. I got you. Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. And then Jonah got in rebellion mm -hmm. and got on the boat. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 people that don't know don't know God or don't understand God, they would say something like, "God is through with you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because you in sin. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because you in disobedience. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because you in rebellion. Yes. Because you backslid. Mm -hmm. Have I hit anybody yet? Do y'all understand? Yes. And, and, then, and then that spirit of frustration will discourage you to slide all the way into the night. All right. Uh -huh. Yes. And say, I declare it night. Ain't gonna be no more using me. Because you know I refuse to do what God said. My God. Woo. So I know God is through with me. He'll probably get one here. There's somebody else he can use. Yes, sir. That'll be better than me. I'm just going to get on the boat. Mm -hmm. now, now, here's what sin does. Jeremiah, listen to this because this is you got to get this in your notes. Okay, here's what sin does. Sin makes you stupid. <laughs> That's what sin does. Yes, sir. A hundred percent of the time. Yes, sir. Sin makes you stupid. That's right. Sin will tell you after reject. Look at your situation. Mm -hmm. You just told God uh -huh. <laughs> no. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. Right. And then what you did is went and got on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you preach it, sir. Come on with it. You went. You went from dry ground. Uh huh. And got it all at once. <laughs> and, and got on a boat uh, by choice right. in rebellion against God. Yeah. And then because God is God and he does what God does, <laughs> God went up and tore out the boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, I know you on that boat. Oh Jeremiah, he went and hid in the bottom of the boat. Yes, he, did. Mm -hmm. he went and he, it, it was like, you know, if I go to the bottom of the boat, God can't see me. <laughs> Y'all like, like going you know, you, When you get ready to sin, you don't do just a little bit of sin. You know, you, you go all the way sin. You go all the way out there, out there. Amen. And say, I'm just going to go all the way because I don't want God to make a mistake and think he should be bringing me back. I'm permanently in this boat, in the bottom of the boat. And, and God sent storm. And went, now, 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 how did the storm get there? God sent storm. All right. 
right. This was not the meteorologist storm. This uh -huh. wasn't what was on the forecast. They wouldn't have planned a trip yeah. if they knew the storm was coming. Yeah. Amen. But God sent storm uh -huh. and caught both tripping. Uh -huh. now, 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 when the storm comes, it even makes sinners know how to act right. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's, right. Yeah, that's, right. that's the truth. Uh -huh. a, a storm will make sinners uh -huh. get right. They'll tell you, turn that TV off. Yeah. <laughs> that's what y'all tell you. <laughs> <laughs> It's storming up there. Turn that TV on. Right, right. Be quiet. Sit down somewhere. Be quiet. Right. Sit down. Right. Right. Yeah. It's storming. Yeah. The sinners know how to act yeah. in a storm. Mm -hmm. It's the saints. Mm -hmm. yeah. The saints are the ones that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sir. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. I didn't yeah. say your name, so don't get offended if I ain't talking about you. <laughs> Yeah. The saints is the one that acts stupid and get on the boat in the storm. Mm -hmm. And when the sinners say, let's pray, mm -hmm. the saints say, don't pray. <laughs> Ain't no need in you praying. Mm -hmm. I know who that is. <laughs> I know what's wrong. Uh -huh. I'm so much telling the truth. Yes, you, you, you know what's wrong. Yes, in your situation, you know why things ain't working right. Mm -hmm. It's because you are out of the will of God right. and you have allowed the enemy to step in and frustrate right. your will so that you will abandon the blessings that right. God has already right. ordained in your life just for a few moments of pleasure and satisfaction and what it is that you want and God is tearing up your boat. All right, sir. Hmm. All right, sir. Don't pray. Ain't no need of you praying. I know who that is. Right. That's the God of the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. That's why you, you, you're stupid. <laughs> you know that's God tearing up the boat. Right. And you still ain't talking to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you talking to the sinners. I'm going to say you're talking to everybody else. Right. Mm -hmm. You still ain't talking to God. He said, you want to save the boat? You get, that's when you get further stupid. You want to save the boat? Throw me off the boat. <laughs> see, see what he what he should have been doing. Oh Lord, have mercy! What he should have been doing is leading them into repentance. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. good. Yeah, but he was so far in his own rebellion. That he couldn't lead them into repentance because then that was going to convict him. Right, right. I know that ain't describing nobody. You ain't never right, been there. Right. So I'm just going to talk to the mystery people out there. <laughs> that, that, that sometimes you've been so far out there that at the time that you should be getting somebody else saved, it's you that need to be saved. Mm -hmm. You should be getting right, somebody right, else right. delivered, but you find yourself in need of deliverance. And so instead of being the deliverer, you ask them to throw you deeper into your situation. Right. Throw me overboard. Right. My yeah. God. Right. You want to help. My God. Ooh, Lord. And at that point, if you ain't stupid enough, <laughs> if there's ever a time that God should be through with you, mm -hmm. uh, it's at the point that you voluntarily have yourself thrown off the boat. <laughs> Scripture says that there was a great fish. That's what it said. This, that's not the good news. Yeah. The scripture said there was a great fish prepared. Yeah. Prepared. Mm -hmm. That's what it said. Mm -hmm. prepared, prepared by the Lord. Mm -hmm. There's a, there's a, there's a, I'm going to call the fish, I'm going to name the fish Grace. All right. All right. <laughs> That's good, sir. Name is and, and, and in your stupidest, in your stupidest of stupid moments, <laughs> grace has been prepared. Yeah. Grace, grace was following you from the time that you got on the boat. <laughs> you got that right. Now you said that. Right. Knowing that your crazy tail was right. gonna get thrown right. off the right. <laughs> So grace has been following the boat, uh -huh. waiting for you to get there. Uh -huh. And when you got there, grace got you uh -huh. and took you to a place uh -huh. 
where you can get some sense. My God. <laughs> yeah. My God. Amen. My God. God saved the boat. Mm -hmm. He saved the sinners. Uh-huh. But he delivered you. Amen. To a place. Jesus. Where you could get some sense while he was saving sinners. My God. Isn't it amazing how God can fix this while fixing you? Uh -huh. yeah. So what you're trying to say, Canada, I'm saying he can take broken things. My God. My and God. he can still use broken things. That's right. And he'll keep the broken yeah. things <laughs> until he brings healing mm -hmm. into the brokenness into your life. You, he, took the, he took Jonah, and Grace took Jonah down to the bottom of the sea. And, and, and he sat there in a place that he was never supposed to be. He, he sat there in a place where he never was supposed to be all because his will was broken. Some of us, some of us right now, we're in places that we were never supposed to be. You're dealing with things that you never had to deal with. You're just there. Because your will wouldn't line up My God. with the will of God. Amen. We overcoming debt. I mean, we're eliminating debt and building wealth and so forth like that. And you should be debt free, but your will. Mm -hmm. My God. Yep. You should have had two or three dollars, yep. but your will. Amen. Your will got confused with your lust. Lust, when it was conceived, brought forth sin. Mm -hmm. It was just your will. Mm -hmm. It was just your will. You had decided that you had to have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you decided that you couldn't wait. God said, wait. You said, I can't wait. I'm going to have it. I will. I will have it now. My you got God, God said, uh, save it. And he said, you said, I ain't going to save it. I will. And now you've got baby mama. My God. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Yeah. I said, I'll, I'll give you peace. Amen. Pass all understanding. You said, never mind. I'll smoke. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you smoke. Now, now you were smoking cigarettes. Then that turned into weed. And then weed turned into crack. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now you're an addict when you all, all you had to do was wait. Mm -hmm. But what is this? The spirit of frustration mm -hmm. irritates you, pushes you to a place to where you compromise the will of God for your life. Amen. <clears throat> but I told you a minute ago, I told you a minute ago that if you're able to testify, then you're already in a blessed place. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, Thank see, you. I could talk about all the things I did wrong, or I could talk about my fish grace. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's true. My fish grace is the blessing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. If the next time I open my mouth, I should thank God for my fish. Amen. Amen. I should thank God that he prepared grace for me. Yes. Amen. That as I got off, amen, grace picked me up so that I didn't end up all the way in Tarsus. Yes. Yeah. Out of the will of God, grace took me. And, and then, you know what grace did? Grace, grace held me until my mind got right. Yeah. And, and when my mind got right, amen, Jonah said, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Then he started testifying, but I'll pray. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll sing praises unto you. Mm -hmm. I'll sacrifice unto you. I sure will. And, 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 and as soon as his will changed, grace changed. Yes. Amen. As soon as his mind changed, grace began to move yes. on yes. his behalf. Yes. And, 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 and where he would have been in Tarsus, yes. out of the will of God, grace kept him out of Tarsus. Yes. And, and when he got his mind right, grace delivered him yes. right yes. into Nineveh. Yes. And, and, and this is the thing that we can't understand. How is it that I've been in grace so long, and when I got out of grace, you put me right back into purpose? How? Because I am the Lord thy God who healed thee 
All right. Amen. I was just depending on you to be obedient. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. My God. Amen. My God. I'll take, I'll take broken things that will obey. And I can use them. My God. But when your will turns against me, I can't do nothing with it. But I keep you in grace. Thank you, Lord. Some of us, some of us are, some of us have been in grace so long. Yes, Lord. Hear me now. Some of us have been in grace so long that we think grace is the blessed place. Right. right. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's My God. You you you've been oversleeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been daytime, but you haven't been walking in the as children of the day. Mm -hmm. You haven't been walking in the authority that's been given you mm -hmm. over the day. You haven't been declaring the blessing of the Lord over your life and over the people in your life. You haven't been doing that because you've been in night, Amen. oversleeping, My God. so long. But grace has kept you mm -hmm. while you overslept. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Grace has kept you while you was in disobedience. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And some of us have lived in grace so long that we we feel like that's the way it's supposed to work. Amen. Mm -hmm. We've abandoned obedience altogether. Mm -hmm. And we just depended on grace to carry us. Mm -hmm. Wow. And grace is carrying you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. If you're here right now and you can say amen, amen. grace is carrying. Amen. But that's not God's perfect will for your life. Mm -hmm. His will would be that you would be able to walk in the authority that he's given you. We, we're so living beneath our privileges that we won't even say I'm rich. Mm -hmm. We won't even say I'm blessed. If we do, we're saying it in cliché. We won't even declare that we're healed. Amen. Some of us right now, we 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 carrying sicknesses. Amen. And we won't declare ourselves strong. Okay. Because we've been living by grace and not in the authority of the Lord. He said this, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I ain't gonna be through, but I'm gonna stop. He said this. I, I promise you this, people of God, you will have exactly what you say. Amen. Amen. Whatever you say, that's what you're gonna get. And the spirit of frustration has come to influence your conversation so that you say everything against what the Lord says concerning you. He said, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You say, <laughs> when the last time you rose up, and said, good morning. I am the righteousness of God. My God. In Christ Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> when did you tell your temptation that? When temptation comes. We got some beautiful ladies in here. You also see all these ladies come out. They, they, <laughs> beautiful ladies in here. And, and, and if, if, if somebody came up and tried to pimp you out, and say, come on and be my hoe. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right. Okay. You my hoe. Uh -oh. 
Go over there and bring me twenty dollars back. Mm. Okay. See how see how y'all woke up. <laughs> you don't say you don't say uh, that's right. I am your no. You don't say that. No. No. You got another declaration. No. <laughs> <laughs> You probably start with Negro. <laughs> That's just because I'm in church. I can't say it. You know, you know, you're not that, and so you don't accept that. Amen. So, 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 why you you start saying I'm a woman? Mm -hmm. I ain't nobody's. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But why when your temptation comes? Why would you say, I am the righteousness of God Amen. in Christ Jesus? Amen. How dare you offer me? Right. Why are you not offended by it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Amen. By sin's offer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you not offended by it? Why don't you challenge yourself and say, I can't sleep. It's day. Right. I, have a res I have a prophetic responsibility over the day. <coughs> Some of y'all was prophesying over the afternoon. <laughs> the morning had already gone. It's too late. It's too late. God has called you to prophesy over the morning. Oh my God. And you don't wake up till 11. <laughs> and say, I wish I had a job. <laughs> But ain't nobody gonna give me no job. Mm -hmm. You got opportunity today. You got opportunity to change your will. You got an opportunity to impose your will on the day. It's a godlike characteristic. It's your ability to speak into your situation and declare that it will be what God said it will be, in spite of what it looks like. In spite of what it yes, feels sir. like, yes, in sir. spite of what somebody else says, yes, my will decided mm -hmm. that this is the day yes, that the Lord has made. Yes. So my will decided that I will rejoice and be glad. In Amen. It. I will bless the Lord at all, at all times. Amen. His praises shall continually be, be in, my in my mouth. What Amen. about you? Amen. Amen. Will you make that choice today? Amen. Give God some praise. Give God some glory.